Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our series on Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series and this is part 5 of Angular layouts. In the previous episodes, we have learned to put single column layout, two column layout with header, with footer and we have also seen how to put the three column layout. In today's episode, we will learn how to put navbar that is the responsive menu navigation layout in our application. So this is so before we get started, I request you friends to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. If you have any doubts, please drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. So, so story so far we have designed, we have learned how to design a header component as content component. We have learned to put header, content and footer. We have also learned how to put the two column layout and on top of it we have added the footer and we have also learned how to put the header along with three column layout and footer. And in this tutorial we are going to add a nav bar to our application. So let's see how our application looks today. It looks like this because it has a header, it has a sidebar, left sidebar, main content, right sidebar and finally the footer. So we are going to do some changes to our header, make it much better by adding navbar. So what is a bootstrap navbar? So it's a system which allows us to put the ordered or unordered list in order to make it look like a navigation menu. So to use that, just go to bootstrap component and select navbar. So once you have it navbar, for now just to show you, I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to copy it, but I'm covering it in detail in the next tutorial. So make sure you're following it. So in the header, I'm going to HTML, copy all of this, put the copied navbar code and let's go to our menu. So now you see we have a menu, navbar menu in the header. We are going to jazz this up a little bit by adding navbar colors. So to navbar light, this is the class, utility class. So let's copy that and go to style and we are going to put some styling for it. And here we are going to put background hyphen color and we are going to take some nice color palette from here. Uh, let's say I'm going to take this color and put it as here and that's it. So this should be our background color now for the menu. So now it started showing up as a real application. Now we are seeing that we have our nav bar, we have our and we have some footer, we have the main content. This content is little too wide here since we have used container fluid. We can change that by saying container fluid padding 2. So or I can even make it instead of this I can just make it container and this should be good enough now uh, and we'll give some styling back. So now you would see it's here it's throwing some margin so I'm going to put directly here in the content and I'm going to say this row should have a margin padding of 2 and margin of 2. So yeah so now it is center aligned so that's how uh, we are trying to make our application look. Uh, we can remove it here and put just margin 2. So this is all st uh, styling that you want to do uh, based on requirements on your application. But this is how usually uh, our application would start growing and looking once we put uh, custom styling. I hope you are following uh, the application and the tutorial so far. Uh, and then you are enjoying the way we are building it. Uh, please do let me know if you are finding any issues. I'll be happy to help you for free. So here I'm going to remove the background of the container fluid. So now this is white color and we have a slight body. Instead I'm going to use just 
color white and since we have some body so it has that slightish uh, uh, background which adds up to the beautification of the application right and you can always give some margin minimum height and those things and make your container look bigger with content but we will add content in the next episode so that's fine so story so far we are able to build a header with navbar we have our three column layout and we also have our footer component so that's how we go about designing our application site framework or the main content area i hope you are following it you are enjoying it please drop me your queries in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you for free thank you so much in joining in today's episode in the next episode i will cover in detail about the navbar how the responsive looks like this and we are going to add some styling the drop down effects um, much more so stay tuned for that and i'll see you in the next episode thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode